today on CityCast Madison. Welcome to 2023. We made it. And now that we're here, what are we going to do with it? Let's make some resolutions. How are we going to make Madison better? It's Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. I'm Bianca Martin, and this is CityCast Madison. Want to know my New Year's resolution? I want people in Madison, and starting with myself, to center a mindset of restorative justice and anchor healing. I came back to Madison a year ago, and I've noticed some things in communities I'm in where people might have caused harm, and this is something that happened, things that have happened like years ago, and that shame is still around, and it has me thinking about how we keep our values in mind in terms of restorative justice. I think one of the values of many in the city is thinking about criminal justice. People want folks to have an opportunity to rehabilitate and be a part of the community again. Um, I've been thinking about that with all the rhetoric around uh, some of some conservative rhetoric about letting criminals out of jails and how scary that may be, and really thinking about you know how do we have a whole community in the long run, and how do we treat people who are wrongdoers who have who have caused harm in a way that's restorative and not just punitive. Um, so I'm thinking about that both on a personal level and on a community level. How can we? Be realistic, know that harm will be gone and that we have the opportunity to heal it together. And that requires both sides uh, to come together and have communication. Um, So that's something I've been thinking about a lot being back here. And I really hope that others might consider that as well. What about me? Do you want to hear my resolution, Bianca? Oh, hey there, Dylan. Yes, I do. That's Dylan Brogan. What if we made third graders, the most important people in the entire city. Like everyone, not just parents and educators, but everyone uh, made it their goal to make sure every third grader loved school, was doing well at school, had everything they need to get a really good start in life. It's a key year that they measure that if uh, by the end of third grade, you need to have um, your reading levels up to snuff so that you can begin to learn other things because uh, the reading is how you learn moving forward in education. Third graders deserve it. I love it. We've got to find new ways <laughs> of going about changing our systems. Hey, Bianca, I, I invited myself in. hope that's okay. Oh, hey, Molly. That's Molly Stentz. The whole squad's here. Mine's maybe a little more serious. Not the reading isn't serious, but you know, that's how I roll. I like to, you know, bring things down to the very serious of level. Um, Hey, so I've been thinking about violence and gun violence. And I was wondering if as a city, we could all like, make this pact not to have any homicides next year. Could we could we do that? What do you think? What a good goal that would be? Yeah, I hope that manifests, honestly. So those are ours. Those are our resolutions for 2023. And we asked you guys for your hopes and dreams for Madison. And you had some pretty interesting things to say. Let's take a listen. Hey, Madison, this is Angela. I'm looking forward to 2023. And as I think about our collective community, there are two or three things that I would love to see happen in Madison in 2023 and beyond. First is I would love for us to go beyond identifying what's wrong to creating a vision for what's possible. What can help us be a passionate, creative, thriving, juicy city for us all. Also, I would love if we could all just slow down a bit and see and notice the beauty that exists all around us. And the third is more po- more personal. I need to stay hydrated and moisturized throughout 2023 and beyond. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Angela, I love it. Moisturizing indeed. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, you don't want to dry out like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> 
incredibly thoughtful um, contributions too. I hope those happen. And I feel like a theme that came up was community. That seemed to be a theme among some other other voices that we heard. Hey everyone, it's Francesca Hong, co-owner of Morris Ramen and state representative for the 76th Assembly District in Wisconsin. New Year's resolution would be for Madison to love creativity and connection. I don't know if we truly love it, and I think if we truly loved it, we would show it in some more of our policies and and folks um, fighting for really the the creative economy. And um, we have a lot of artists that work in restaurants, and I think that it's really important that we continue to talk, think about um, the creative economy in a way that uh, is, I think, sometimes uncomfortable for folks. So my New Year's resolution is for folks to actually really love creativity and connection in Madison. Hi, my name is Libby Tucci, and I am part of a team of incredible people at YWCA Madison that facilitates uh, racial justice, learning and unlearning experiences. I would love to see us explore a process for reparations for people who were impacted by the legacy of slavery. Our federal government probably isn't going to do it anytime soon, but I think we could get into it and start creating those opportunities at a local level. Hey, this is Sly. Here's my New Year's resolution for 2023. As you probably noticed over the last 30 years, we only have one architect in Madison. Distinctive old businesses have been torn down and been replaced by high-rise condos. My goal for 2023 is to shop more local and tip more. Yes, you should tip 30% now so people can actually afford to live in those monstrosities. Yes. Yes, Sly. Indeed. Tip your waiters. And I love that. Yes. Take care of our creative economy. Indeed. I don't think the buildings are that ugly around town. The new ones. Fighting words. Fighting words. Oh, you don't like several different kinds of brick? They glue on the bricks. They're not real. No, who likes fake bricks? Why do we want cheap materials? We want lasting, beautiful spaces. You do need somewhere to rest your head at night and shelter, affordable housing. That that came up again and again, didn't it? Yeah, and we got a bunch of voicemails about that as well. Hi, I'm District 2 Alder Patrick Heck. My New Year's resolution for Madison is that we increase housing options across the entire city for all residents, particularly near our high-frequency bus lines that will be enhanced starting next summer. This is important to me because I believe all neighborhoods need to share their wealth of resources by welcoming a mix of new opportunities for folks to live there, whether they are renters or property owners. This is also important to me because in 2023, those residents who most need housing or or better housing need the support of those who already have it. I am Aldo Figueroa Cole for District 10 of the City of Madison. My New Year's resolution for Madison is to increase land banking resources and strategies to facilitate home ownership to low-income families, providing opportunities with access to transit, resources, and safe and healthy spaces where they can raise their family and build community. Strengthening and advancing this program will allow people to own their homes without worrying about the cost of the land, creating a ripple effect where, for example, people won't have to choose between the high cost of of a mortgage and putting food on the table. A lot of you want to get out of the house. I'm Emily Jelka. I work in video production. My resolution for 2023, maybe for other people too, but definitely for me, is based off of this growing feeling I've been having. I feel like as a millennial, I've always been working to grow in community through digital spaces like Here's this new social platform, learn it, get on it, use it, love it. Those spaces feel more volatile to me lately. RIP Twitter. And I just feel like I feel a little bit more grounded when I think about um, working and giving time and intention into places with people around me. Um, finding places I haven't been. I think it's a complicated way of saying talking to strangers more regularly, but I also think it's deeper than that. I want to make regular time and effort to find community spaces that I haven't. So yeah, I share that with you all in case anyone else has been feeling that way and happy new year. 
My name is Haley Sperling, and I am the co-founder of Madison Minutes. My 2023 New Year's resolutions are to explore my neighborhood, read more fiction, and spend a lot of time at the Chazen. Hello, my name is Perry Govier. I'm a software developer here in Madison, beginning a new career in teaching software development. My suggestion for Madison's New Year's resolution is to get out a little bit more and share our stories. I know uh, Oxford Dictionary came out with their word of the year for 2022, and it was goblin mode. And <laughs> I think if we're being honest, we've we've all had uh, a couple years of goblin mode, a lot of recharge time, a lot of, a lot of downtime, a lot of me time, uh, and for good reason. Uh, but I think it is time to get out of the house a little bit more and share our stories. So Madison is just action-packed with brilliant people doing interesting things, and I want to hear all about it. Also, the train thing. We we should do the train thing. Let's make that happen. Love the Jason. Love that. Also, Perry, when I heard your message about goblin mode, I died. I'm so glad that you brought that up because I think a lot of people can relate. You got to explain that to me. Oxford defines goblin mode as a type of behavior which is unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, slovenly, or greedy, like a goblin, right? Typically in a way that rejects social norms or expectations. The idea is to get out of goblin mode if you're there. Oh my God, we should do an episode where we do anti-resolutions, like things we absolutely hope will not come to Madison in the new year. Another pandemic. Yeah, locusts. Plus one on the locusts. Well, they're overdue. Pretty much just the horsemen of the apocalypse, yeah. On segues? <laughs> that would be a great piece of art. Artists in Madison, this is a uh, charge. We put a charge forward to you. Please uh, paint or draw the horsemen of the apocalypse on segues. Well, and speaking of segues, we got a lot of resolutions about transit, didn't we? Hey, everybody. I'm Mo Barnes. I'm a lawyer in town, and I work at a nonprofit called Law Forward. My hope for Madison in the new year is that it gets easier to move around our city and enjoy all the different parts of it. So better public transportation, faster, more convenient public transportation, but also more biking and walking and cool new projects in different neighborhoods so we all have some inspiration to get out and explore. I think our city is at its best when all of the smart, talented people here are able to connect with each other and not just get stuck in our own bubbles, especially as we come out of the pandemic and are able to go to more places in person. I hope that we emerge into a city that's more accessible to all of us and a city that makes it easier to connect with each other. Hello, this is John, and uh, I live on the east side of Madison. And what I would like to see in Madison... I would love to see a community garden that is within walking distance of every home. I would love to see more giant trees shading our city, protecting us from climate change, cooling us off in the summertime. I would like to see more alternative transportation, like maybe some streetcars on State Street once again. Maybe an Amtrak coming to Madison from Milwaukee, taking you to Minneapolis and Chicago. I would like to see all this, the, all the rooftops with solar panels, microgrids everywhere, and I'd especially like to see more diversity, celebrating diversity in our community always, whether it's in nature, whether it's in culture. Um, that's a massive I would separate. like to see. Hi, this is Jeremy Baisley, local cranky bartender extraordinaire. You can find me on the weekends at the Muscle Lounge and Sporting Club in Madison's hottest Eastside strip mall fish-themed cocktail bar. And my resolution for Madison this year would be to, every once in a while, stop, consider where you are, look up towards the sky and admire its beauty, consider where you're going and how you're going to get there. Just stop doing it while you're driving. Ah, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> I think I can uh, get that one done. Yes, I'll work on it. Another theme was, of course, being good to one another. Hi, my name is Brian Benford. I'm the older person for the 6th District. My New Year's resolution for the City of Madison is for all of us, regardless of our backgrounds, to come together in unity, respect, and do I dare say love? 
okay, I said it, love, to forge a new, safe, socially just, and equitable city of Madison where everybody can thrive, regardless of race, income, or zip code. Happy holidays, everybody. Take care. My name is Rob Franklin, uh, known in some circles as Rob D's. I am a musician. I work with the Bubbler Program at Madison Public Library, and I also serve as vice chair of the Greater Madison Music City Project. My resolution for 2023. It's funny because I don't like making resolutions because I get super down on myself when I don't keep them, you know, as the year goes on. But this I don't mind because I can make a broader resolution and I think that I can hold true to it. And that is simply to be better. Uh, for me to be better, it, it means being better on a personal level. It means being better and fighting this good fight that we are fighting. So that's it. That's my resolution. If you don't believe me, challenge me. You see me out here in the streets, be like, right, it's 2023. How you being better? And I'd be like, ta-da. <laughs> anyway, peace. And Rob was already pretty great. <laughs> yeah, a better Rob. What does that look like? Gosh. Oh my goodness, that was really sweet. Are, are we are we keeping the phrase "be better"? Didn't we retire that? What's a better version of "be better"? What about "better be better"? Be butter. <laughs> butter is a beautiful place. Let's slide into the new year, twenty twenty three. Butter smooth. Can't wait to do the pestilence episode of Citycast Madison. Plagues, good or bad? <laughs> if locusts come, it's your fault. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm just, like, picturing summer festival season and, like, CityCast sponsoring a dunk tank for Dylan. And, like, we just Dylan just says unpopular opinions. And I don't know where this goes. It was just a vision I had. We're doing this. Dunk the Dylan. <laughs> this is what I've been looking forward to. Us three riffing, because I love you guys. I think we've done enough riffing. Let's go. Let's take us home, Bianca. Thank you guys so much for sending in your messages. We want to continue to hear from you and the things you want to hear about. And we're definitely going to be exploring things like transit, things like affordable housing, things like the homis bringing homicide numbers down, things like uh, supporting our creatives, things like architecture, the whole thing, the whole shabam. Um, keep letting us know what's important to you and we'll keep covering it. And here's what else Madison's talking about. Speaking of ideas for making the city better, each year the Madison Library lets groups of community members with a vision for an innovative event take over the downtown library. The teams get stipends, space, and event planning support. This year's events will be centered around a look into the Quechua diaspora from South America to Wisconsin, a resource group for parents, and an LGBTQIA plus style salon for queer folks of color to meet. And it's your last chance to catch a dynamic art exhibit before it closes on Friday the 13th. If you like bright, funky art, Tandem Press Art Gallery on Commercial Ave is about to end its show called Along the Way, featuring the abstract artist and longtime UW art professor T.L. Solin. And who doesn't want more art this year? Come on. That's all for today here on CityCast Madison. I'm Bianca Martin. If you enjoy the show, why not tell your next door neighbor about us? As it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. We'll be back Thursday morning with more news from around the city. Talk soon. A New Year's resolution for Madison, I would like us all to be a little less racist next year. <laughs>